sweet danger and strength to strength oppose. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Stand in his strength alone. The arm of flesh will fail you. He dare not trust you. church. Let us bow our heads for prayer. Father God, we come to you this morning in the mighty precious name of our soon coming King Jesus Christ. We love you Lord and we praise you and we give you all the glory. Thank you for blessing us with another beautiful Sabbath. Father, we thank you so much for such a special time that we have, the Sabbath school, where we get to discuss and share with each other what we have learned, what we have studied throughout the week. We have really been encouraged and inspired by Paul in the lesson study. And we pray, Lord, that you continue to bless us as we move on to the next part of our service. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to put into action what we have learned so that when you come, you find a bride who is ready for you with adorned righteousness. Father, we are in a battle. We pray that you will help us. We are so thankful because Christ is on the throne and he has won the battle. He has never lost a battle with Satan. And by your strength and power, we believe that we will never lose. Help us to stand. Help us to put on your full armor because we face a lot of struggles, a lot of challenges. We are in a battle. We believe by your strength and power, Lord, we will stand. We thank you so much for our Sabbath school team and our church leaders for the work they do, Lord, for the glorification of your name and for all of us to be ready when you come to take us to heaven, we pray that you bless them in a special way. Father, we have come from different places with different challenges. We pray that you meet each one of us at our point of need. Lead us, Lord, into our worship service and all the activities that are going to be presented here. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Sister Mittens. You may be seated, please. Should be like him. Tis 
is love that makes us happy. It is love that smooths the way. It helps us smile. It makes us kind. Others every day. This world is full of sorrow, of sickness, death, and sin. With love in heart, we'll do our part and try some souls to win. God is love. Where is little children? God is love. We should be like Him. It is love that makes us happy. It is love that smooths the way. It makes us kind. It makes us kind to others every day. And when this life is over and we are called above, the song shall be eternally of Jesus and his love. God is love. We are his little children. God is love. We should be like him. It is love that makes us happy. It is love that smooths the way. It helps us mind to make us kind to others every day. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Are you happy to be here? Let's say amen if you're happy to be here. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a very wonderful thing, a very wonderful thing to be in the house of the Lord another Sabbath, to worship and adore our Creator. Time is swiftly flying, brethren. Is that so? Time is flying very, very, very fast. So it should not be business as usual. It's time we change the way we do business. And I think it's time for new business. The NEC has launched a day of prayer and fasting, and all local churches are asked to participate. The date is October 7, and the venue is right here at Winston Green. So we are asking everyone, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell even those who you pass on the street, invite them to come for prayer on the 7th of October. It's the first Sabbath in October. So what do I do now? Let us pray and prepare our hearts. Let us ask the Lord to cleanse us and sanctify us for that great day. It is the prophet Joel who had, who had called all Israel to pray and to fast. And the summer is, is now saying goodbye to us. And the autumn is approaching. The evenings are getting shorter and it will get colder. So I'm asking you, church, not to allow this day to hinder you from coming out. We are already few in number, and the Lord is depending on us to keep the fire burning. There's also some books at the back. The weather is changing. And some of us will not want to go out in the cold afternoon. So I'm asking that after church, everyone take two or three books with you. And that will be your evangelistic work for the week to find somebody to give the word of God. May God bless you as we work in love and unity with each other. Let us stand for prayer. Our heads bow and eyes close. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How great art thou, O oh Lord, in the heaven and in the earth. You are the awesome God, so we lift you high this morning. We give you the highest praise, hallelujah. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for the mighty blessings that you have bestowed upon us especially for the gift of your only begotten Son. 
Father, as we look forward to this day of prayer and fasting, as declared through the prophet Joel, let the priest and the ministers fast and weep between the porches and the altars and let them say, spare thy people, O Lord God, and give, thine heritage to and give not thy heritage to reproach, that the heathen may say, where is your God? Or where is the God that rules over them? Father, all around us is just sin, sin and corruption. Daily our hearts turn, burns to behold the dynamic change. Our heart cries out this morning to you, Lord, because we have no other help but you. So we ask, Lord, that you be merciful unto us, dear God. Your servant David admonishes us to wait and be of good courage. So as we humbly wait on you, we ask that you cleanse our hearts from every stain of unrighteousness and create a clean heart within us. That when we cry unto you, Lord, our prayers will come up to you as a sweet smelling incense. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our cry. In Jesus' name we say thanks. Amen. No, brother, Mackenzie will come with the prayer spot. Uh, in the Philippines, such things are horrible. I've never seen such in my life. If you keep watching the news, you see what happened in Morocco. You see what happened in some parts of Africa, terrible earthquakes. You see what is happening in, in Ukraine, wars that never end. The world is now confused. There is no direction. I don't even know where this world is going. If the world continues like this the next 20 years, I don't know those who will be living 20 years from today how this world is going to be. Things are becoming worse. But I just want to say this to the people of God. There is hope. we are warned that when we see some of these things happening, you must know that the end is near. These are some of the beginnings of sorrows, and more is coming. But to every child of God, this is something more. We must celebrate in some way because we are tired of this world. When some of these things that were prophesied, that we, 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 we were told would happen, for every child of God, it is something more. But what I want to say and what I want to emphasize to the children of God, we need some form of protection. When you see all these things happening, you cannot overcome all of these alone by yourself. There is a man who was in this world more than 2,000 years who is the devil. He knows all the tricks about human beings in this world. And you cannot overcome that man alone. You need Christ. What I want to pray for is that as we now enter into these serious times, we need some form of strength in us. Also, when I was just sitting there, Sister Raleigh came to me and said, there is a lady who is yet to go to the surgery, a few, few, few weeks to come. They suspect that uh, she is having cancer. 
All I want to say now, we leave all these things to our God. God has the plans. God is taking care of all of us. Whatever is happening in our lives, as long as I have God, I fear nothing. I remember this man called David. He says, if I have Christ, I don't need anything else. If you have Christ, you have everything. You don't need anything. Church of God, we need Christ. As I'm going to pray now, I will pray for Sister Ruth, who is going to face some surgeries in a few weeks to come. And I'm also going to pray for people of God. To pray. This is time for us to pray. The more we pray, the more we get some form of protections. If we don't pray, the devil is going to take an advantage. I remember in the Bible when Jesus was about to be transfigured, he said to his disciples, I want you to pray as I go there. You remain here and pray. And when Jesus came back, he found the disciples that they were asleep. He said to them, keep praying. Church of God, this message comes to us today. We are now in the times where we need to pray. If we used to pray once a day, I suggest you increase to pray three times a day. If you used to pray three times a day, let's double our prayers. And it's serious. It needs your conscience to understand that it is now serious. We need Christ. If you are taking all these things for granted, let me tell you something. In the days of Lot, most of people took their time to what was happening in the world. They couldn't understand that the end was about to come. Similar things that happened in the Lord's time is what is happening to us. And it's serious. If we don't pray, you know what happened. Sodom and Gomorrah was in shambles. We are next in a row. Shall we pray and invite the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to stay with us in this difficult time? Shall we close our eyes and pray? Our Father who is in heaven, we want to thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day as we worship and fellowship with one another here in Winston Green. At this time, Lord, in most of the times when we come to church, the devil comes to church with us. A lot of things sometimes they happen in church and we wonder why some of these things are not right. It's because the devil sometimes is here with us. Before I say what I want to say to you, Lord, and I want to understand if the devil is within us today, May the devil leave this place in Jesus' name. If the devil is here, may he leave this place in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, I want to pray for, for Lady Ruth, where she is. I don't have much information about her. But what I want to say and what I want to ask you, Lord, you knew what was going to happen before we were even told. All I want to say is be in control of her life. I want to pray for the world. The entire world is now confused. A lot of bad things are happening. Earthquakes here and there. Oh God, we cannot do it alone. We can't do it when this evil man who have been living in this world for more than 2,000 years, Lord, we can't do anything without you. As we are faced with all these challenges in front of us in the world, 
We are inviting your Holy Spirit, Lord. Stay with us. Don't leave us. Stay with us. Sometimes we forget to call upon your name. But this morning, Lord, I'm inviting you to strengthen us so that we keep trusting in you. The devil must vacate from our lives and stay with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.